Hey, I'm Ty, and you're watching the DJI Spark tutorial video series. In this video, we'll show you how to fly Spark with its remote controller. In part four of this series, we'll discuss how to fly with just a mobile device and virtual joysticks. Now to get started, power on the remote controller, then the aircraft. Power on each by pressing the power button once, again, then hold. Connect the remote controller via Wi-Fi, as we discussed in part two, and mount your mobile device by slotting it into the clamps on the controller. Push both clamps inward until your mobile device fits snugly. Next, find a suitable takeoff point on level and open ground. Don't take off in tall grass or on sand as debris may enter the motors and affect aircraft performance. If there's no suitable takeoff point in your vicinity, you can always try palm launching, which we'll discuss in part five. After choosing a takeoff point, open DJI GO 4, enter the camera view, and check the aircraft status bar at the top of the screen. Generally, if the aircraft status bar is green, it means you're safe to fly. If the bar is yellow or red, you may need to calibrate your IMU or compass, or move away from magnetic interference to gain GPS signal. Check that each menu item displays as normal, and that flight mode is set to GPS. Now, while flying without GPS is possible, we strongly recommend flying with GPS, especially if you're a new pilot. Once you've confirmed the aircraft is safe to fly, it's time to take off. Now to start the motors, pull both control sticks to the bottom inner corners to perform the combination stick command. Alternatively, you can tap the auto takeoff icon and slide the slider to start the motors and automatically ascend to a height of four feet or 1.2 meters. Now let's learn how to fly in the default stick mode, which is mode two. You can choose alternate control schemes in remote controller settings to suit your preference. Now to ascend or descend in mode two, push the left stick up or down. To adjust the aircraft's heading, turn the left stick right or left. To move laterally, push the right stick left or right. And to move forward or backward, push the right stick up or down. To land the aircraft manually, descend to the ground slowly, then hold the left stick down until the motors turn off. You can also land automatically by pressing the return to home icon. All right, that's it. Now you know the basics of flying Spark with the remote controller. In our next video, We'll show you how to fly using your mobile device. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.